A quick inspection underneath reveals it might be time for mufflers. I've seen some uh, mufflers that have rusted loose, but these uh, magna flows, I think, have uh, flowed their last magna. <laughs> um, I've done enough of these muffler jobs on my back to know at my age I am not looking forward to a face full of rust uh, and laying on my back for two hours cutting off mufflers and clamping on new ones that always seem to leak a little. Um, I could weld them on. I've got a welder, but it's, uh, it's not a great welder. Um, I think I'd rather just uh, order a pair of mufflers uh, and go downtown to Athens and pay the muffler shop $60 to whack these off and weld on the new ones. That's the, that's, that's the route that I'm going to choose on this. We're going to have the uh, Thrush welded series mufflers installed. 13 inch case, 4.5 by 9.5. Uh, they are 2.5 inch inlet and outlet with a, you can see the chamber inside. And I think the part number on it is 17659. You can get a shot of the dimensions right there. I think it says like uh, four and a half by nine and a half, 13 inch long case. And I think the whole thing is like 19 inches long, pipe to pipe, whatever that says right there. All right. Okay, this is before. back from the shop yesterday got the new mufflers welded on and we wanted to take it for a spin and here's what we ran into today <laughs> Unplug the mass airflow. And at least now it runs. So you think after we were nice to her, she'd treat us right. things you can do when you got a bad mass air. You can limp home just by unplugging it because when you plug it in it's going to stop running. The other thing you can do is you can pull the idle air bypass hose off, plug this back in it'll keep running. And if you look in there you can see that it's still working. So we're just going to remove the um, the stock uh, mass airflow that died, and it's got a one of those funky um, fastener dealios, you know, like they look like those tamper-proof fasteners. And uh, the new uh, mass air that we're going to put in, um, which is a Delphi, and I think on the label it says uh, the parts your cars are born with, which I guess that's, uh, implies it's OEM quality, or they actually are an OEM supplier. Uh, so we're just going to grab the Delphi and stick it in. Ugh, no return if opened. Okay. I'm good with that because if it works, you're not getting it back. All right, very carefully. Always want to be careful not to touch any electronics. 
um, and then it's got a little o-ring seal you just don't want to make sure that's on there you just very carefully set it in the hole and then we'll take our funky fastener stick those in the hole Snug. Okay, reattach our connector and it should just fire right back up. We got the windows down. Fifty five with the windows down, we're turning about nineteen hundred because it's got a three seventy three gear, four speed automatic with overdrive. Not, it doesn't drone too bad with the windows down. Then we can just give it a little pedal one time and drop it down a couple gears. surprises me because when you just drive these mod motors easy they don't have much of a bottom end to them they kind of feel a little on the weak side but I tell you what once they get past like 3500 they just spring to life and just take off so it's a 2000 GT right Austin yeah yeah so it's got the 4.6 I think stock it was rated at 260 and 2000 and it's had uh, got uh, cat back exhaust of course you know we just re we basically rebuilt that cat back exhaust with uh, what were those they were thrush uh, chambered mufflers welded mufflers yeah welded. yep and uh, two and a half inch mufflers I think the exhaust is still two and a quarter 373 rear axle was put in it it's got a cast aluminum high performance intake to replace the cracked leaking one I guess that was a common thing on these. And uh, we're just going to pull into the DG real quick. All right. And we'll just pull this thing way out of the way. Nothing worse than parking lot dents on a black car. civil just driving it you know easy
thanks for watching. Uh, next time I'll show you how to double the life of the transmission on this car using a castle nut.